Hey everyone, welcome into the channel. It's Karen Lavender Clothesline and it is early Tuesday morning. I am just waiting for Roger's car to pull up. We are hitting the flea market this morning. I always get excited for going flea marketing. I'm really enjoying the beautiful weather, yard selling, flea marketing. It's a fun time. So hit that like and subscribe button, get yourself something to drink. We're going flea marketing together. Okay, so we just got here. Look at this flying pig. He has a loop that you hang him from. Is this not everything? Look at the paint finish. Can you guys guess what this is for? Leave your comments down below and I will let you know in the next video what this flying pig is used for. So cool. So he has a little hatch door on his bum that's what it looks like inside. Truly old. I would buy him, but this is a little bit more than my budget can afford this morning for one piece. And he's got a hole in his mouth. This is spectacular. All right, guys, leave your comment down below of what you think this flying pig is used for. So many items are reproductions, and my mind has a tendency to think everything's an antique at a flea market. But this one still has the original Made in the Philippines sticker. And these can really fool you. You really think that they're hundreds of years old, but when in fact they're not, they're just reproductions. So when we first came in, I did see the birdhouse, uh, the flying pig birdhouse. And I did look it up on eBay. I'm gonna show it to you guys. And here it is, decorative pig when pigs fly birdhouse, department 56, and it sold for $59. So what I thought was original, you know, an antique, and I was going by what the vendor said, you really have to do your due diligence and look things up because you can really get caught spending way too much for an item that you think is older than it is. The reproductions are getting so good. They really make it look like, you know, there's uh, some antique aging there. But with this pig birdhouse, uh, the wear on the paint was very even. So there is the original sticker, Christopher Blake, When Pigs Fly Birdhouse, Department 56. So glad I didn't spend $100 on it. This vendor always has good stuff. Plastic duck or resin, but that'd be great in the garden. Oh, look at this box. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, it's a newer one. Who doesn't want a treasure chest of jewelry? Treasure chest. All right, he's still setting up another pig. Where does this guy get his stuff? I do love him too. I don't think this is wood. Could be wood. I'm gonna ask what he wants for the pig. What do you want for the other pig? I have 15 on that. That is great. I do love him. Okay, I told myself no more wood bowls right now because I will get like a, like a back stash of them and then they'll all sell and then I can buy them again. I like this tray here. What's going on with that? It is three dollars. Good morning. Good morning. What is this tray made out of? Wow, that is kind of cool. Three dollars. I love your tray. This is great. I'm going to take that this morning. Good morning. Oh, this one's made in Haiti. I wish they would inscribe the Haiti on the bottom. They're such beautiful um, pieces of wood, but not everybody wants the country's name written on top. Jamaica. Oh, look at this little shoe form. Oh my goodness, that's so sweet. Yeah. Oh, this is adorable. We're going to take that too. <laughs> you have the best taste always. Thank you. 
$25. Oh, it's like a button. Don't wait for the wind to get moving. Oh, that is so cute. Somebody's going to want that. Too big for me today. Oh, Melissa. <laughs> I found your initial. Melissa is my daughter, Fresh Bloom and Clothing on YouTube and Instagram and eBay, in case you guys don't know. All right, I think that's what we're going with at this booth. Oh, beaded purse with the chain. A lot of times the chains are missing. I'm not sure why the chains are missing, but, and a lot of times these are silk lined. Oh, it's got a couple of pennies in it. I'm gonna see what she wants for this. I might've priced this last time. Good morning. Is this you? Yes. What are you asking for your purse? I do 25 on it. Boy, that's pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> how much is that? I how do 15. I, okay, how much did I almost break? Oh. <laughs> you wouldn't have been like too damaged from it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at you? this one. Good morning. How are you? Doing good. Oh my word, it's like chain mail. Look at that. Yeah, you know it. Wow. Denny. Yeah, you got it. Yes. So what, what is your uh, device for remembering my name? Okay, I really like that. Restaurant? Yeah. I really like this one. A fine restaurant. <laughs> Leah, what are you asking for this one? I do 75 on that. Yeah, boy. That is everything. And that is marked. Wow. It is, Sterling. I'm thinking that's got to be 1800. It's Davis. Yep. Oh, it yeah, I know that name. Yeah. yeah, I know that name. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah, Gorgeous. It. Yeah, right? I have. You don't see that colorway too much. Never, yeah. That is stunning. So much interesting stuff at this flea market. So for those of you who don't know where we are, we are at Roots Flea Market in Mannheim, Pennsylvania. This is a flea market that's quite close to the house and they are open every Tuesday and in warm weather also on Saturdays. I've, I don't think I've ever been here on a Saturday. Oh, look at this. This is tramp art. Tramp art is a name that's still allowed to be used, um, so don't be offended. <laughs> $100. All of this is put together with very little tiny leftover scraps of wood. So people would take, it's almost like upcycling back in the day. Oh, look at this one. <gasps> this one's spectacular. That is so beautiful. $100. Well worth it, so beautiful. It promises to be a crazy busy day. So Roger is back there. I am trying to blow through quickly the normal routine of scouting out. Now I probably miss stuff. Yeah, he's back there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move on ahead. Let me go tell him there's a table of jerseys. He might not know that. He sees something. I could see it in his eyes. <laughs> the man has a really good eye. Really good. While I'm blowing over everything, he is like checking every single thing out. Hey, honey. There's a table of jerseys there. See down there? They're $10 each or three for 25. So I'm sure the guy probably knows, but I figured I'd tell you. Yeah, maybe you find something. I'm gonna just scope through really quick. Is that okay? Take your time. Do you want me to carry something? All right. Hey, hey, good morning. What are you doing here? Oh, are you really? 
gosh, wait a second. Let's stop the video. Here I realize sitting in the back of her car is my dear friend Geneva. I met Geneva a couple of years ago. She is a reseller and I think she came to my first reseller meetup. She is a sweetheart. I was so happy to see her. I think I let out a little scream. So Geneva, if you're watching, I loved seeing you and hanging out with you for a few minutes. If you want to give Geneva a follow, she is on Instagram, also on Facebook. She has a business called Woven Spectrums, and she is a gorgeous knitter. Her hand items are just beautiful. So give her a like and a follow over on Instagram, and let's get on with the video. Okay, one of the best things about coming to the flea market is running into friends. So we chatted for a while. Always good to see what they're selling. $8 for that little vase, beautiful. Okay, this is the vendor that does not negotiate, which I respect. She tells you right up front, my prices are my prices. I like people that just put their rules out there and you know what's going on, you don't have to guess. Lots of interesting stuff. trying to be really, really selective. That silly pig is staying in my mind. He wants a hundred for it. <gasps> Look at the glass window. I told myself, no more stained glass windows. I've sold them before. They are crazy big, but boy, is that pretty. Should have put that in the addition. Oh, over the bed, that would have been beautiful. Good morning. This is lovely. Is this Falls? I don't know who this is. That is sweet. Look at the leaves on the edge. How much for your bowl? Uh, $20. That's gorgeous. Yep. I'll give that thought. This is beautiful too. And your mug? Uh, I think I'll do... Uh... 15 on that. Okay. Boy, the painting on that is lovely. What do you think? Mexico on that? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's always a guess, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm not an expert, so I can Yeah. I, I don't like when they're not marked. I can't tell what we're talking because I'm not knowledgeable. Would you do 10 on it? That is, I like the colors. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Oops. Okay. These kind of jugs are beautiful. Do you have any idea of why these jugs are blackened? Is it from they a kiln? Used, they used it, yeah. This is from the 1820s. Okay, it's fired in the earth. Is that, Are they burying it with ash? Because it's such an all even... Yeah, they used it, but I don't know exactly uh, how they did it. I don't know, okay. I had like 300 on it though. 300, okay. Yeah. Boy, that's a beautiful one. Little love of my price range, but uh, but yeah. I can appreciate it. Beautiful. I love these birds. Oh, they're iron. 25 Japan. Ugh. Hello. Hello. Aren't you adorable? <laughs> Not having any of it. <laughs> oh, she's beautiful. I am Karen. And Roger. And Roger. I watch them. Oh. I know them. Oh, who's <laughs> the Daisy. star? Oh, Daisy. Daisy Hello, yes. Daisy. Oh, I love her. <laughs> She's a mess. She's, She's so mess. sweet. <laughs> Y'all finding much? Uh, we just got here. Oh, We're no. trying. <laughs> Play ball. <laughs> I can't get my hand in. No. Is it old? That looks like an yeah, old one, just old. the way that it's made. How did they even catch a ball with that? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. What would you pay for it? Yeah, I don't know Two that's bucks. That's <laughs> I don't know what he's asking. How much for your glove? I asked 25. 25? Yeah. They're all 25? Or? All birds. I have a tendency to stay away from all birds now. I did get a Vero on one, but the company was great and had the Vero removed because they were, you know, genuine. Um, but I don't even like to mess around with that. I am seeing this piece here, if I can reach in without breaking anything. So 
cigars. I don't know that this is, what does that say? Oh, Holland, it might be older. I thought it was gonna say made in China. That is lovely, no top to it though. We need a top. Boy, that's nice. Let me come around so I don't have to reach over with this bag and be precarious about it. Okay, we have a little overage of paint right there. I don't know what that's about. That will hurt it. Look at that face. What a lovely lady. $12. I see these all the time, quite common. Let's take a look at the bottom. She does have an iridescent glaze to her. There is the marking. I think these are just like a mold that somebody paints. So you buy the the um, statue plane, figurine plane, and you paint it. Wow, is this a table? A game table? Uh, maybe. Yes, I think so, because the corners have the marks from legs being there. That is beautiful. Is this all inlay? Somebody made this. What? This is a gorgeous piece. It's almost like art for the wall. Wow, that's beautiful. I don't have any place to put this or I would consider buying this for myself. I love this that much. If I had like a game room or something like that. Just beautiful. Somebody actually inlaid this. Is this inlay? I didn't do it. I bought it like that. They made a card table out of it. Yeah. When you open the legs up, they broke out from the bottom, so I just took it off. Yeah, smart. This is gorgeous as a wall hanging yeah. in a game room. I wish I had a game room. Size card tables. Okay. And it was only an inch too small to fit on the one I have over oh, there. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, wow, that's purple. gorgeous. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, she only wants $30 for it. Could I sell this? I feel like I could. All right, where's Roger? Roger knows what. Where is my sweetie? I do think, oh, it's signed. I do think this is handmade. At first I thought this was printed on here, but this is all wood inlay. That is just stunningly beautiful. I might have to buy that. Oh no. <laughs> All right, let's see if Roger is around, if we can find him and get him to look at this table. I would almost be tempted to ship that. I know it's crazy, but see the veneer has a little bit of damage. This is veneer on the back. So what, is that handmade, do you think? Like an inlay, right? Yeah, you Some yeah. That's where all the veneer pulled off. Yeah. Definitely has some age to it. I really like that. But I mean, am I just going to buy it to buy it? You know? Like, right? It's just so spectacular. Look at the work of it. You could even put a mirror, if you didn't want to use it as a game board, which would be a shame, you could put a mirror in the, in this part of it, you know, to cover the checkerboard. That would almost be a bad thing to do, but then you'd have this gorgeous Art Deco looking mirror. Walk away, right? Okay. You're supposed to help me walk away from things that are, everything's a project. But that is just so, right? Somebody did all of that? Oh my gosh, I wonder if she'd take 25 for it. It's definitely a lot of work. Do you think somebody would want it? And then what would I sell it for? Just stunning. All right, I think I'm disciplining myself in walking away from the game table top. 
which is so hard because they think the beauty of it it's such a gorgeous piece see i'm going to talk myself back into it she'll take 25 for it i would ship that on ebay it would be a thing but that is so spectacular all right i'm walking oh it's a killer it's so hard to be disciplined when you see stuff that your heart loves but you know i don't want to sit on stuff for two years not something that big I don't mind being a long tail seller, but you do want the stuff to have a very good possibility of selling. You can't just start collecting stuff. See that? I'm having a whole talk with myself. All right. Where did Roger go? I've lost him again. I think he's going back to the first aisle. All right, let's keep going. And then we'll join up with him again. I love that people are still unpacking. It makes me feel like I didn't get here too late. Still looking for pottery lamps. Now, if I don't get them, that's fine. Oh, here is the chair. I've had this top before without, but it's cool to see it with its legs. That's very cool. Like that, all hats. Five dollars each, or six for twenty-five. They've got quite the hat collection going. I always look inside. Now, see how that one says mud. This is just from Target or Kohl's. Vintage hats. Paintings on tin or on metal. That's lovely. Yellowware bowl. Oh, that's a good one. $28. Look at the old brush. An early brush. I think this was used to, I'm going to guess, brush clothing. I don't think it was meant for food. I'm not sure. Like to dust off flour from pastry. Oh, he's good. We like him. No price on him. <laughs> I like those eyes. That is very cool. I don't see a price on him. Am I looking right at it? Pottery. Piece of pottery. Jury. Empty bowls. Is that what that says? Looks like jury, right? Probably being silly about that. Some box lots. Lots of trophies. It doesn't really seem like anything worth digging. Oh, big Tweety. Oh. He's like filled with like the styrofoam beans, so he's more like from a carnival. More trophies. Who buys trophies? Leave a comment down below if you've ever bought trophies before. I would imagine there's people's names on them. Not quite sure if you could take those names off and give them to your kids if they're behaving well. <laughs> Here's a trophy. I never tried that with my kids. Maybe that would have worked. Like, Dylan, clean your room. Here's a trophy. Which way are you going? We're working our way down this way. 44. 46. Yeah. Some more box lots. Oh, it's heavier than I thought. I said it's heavier uh, than I thought. Oh, that'd be fun for the kids to play with. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Get that for the grandsons. <laughs> what is this? The stuff you find. What's your best guess? What's a fork? Yeah, that's what we're trying to figure out. I know what's 
Okay, uh, to call in the goats from the pasture. It goes on the goat. Oh, they, it does? And they know where the goats are next morning. Oh, that's wow. scary that I even had a close guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. That is interesting, all this stuff. Wow, that's a big... Yeah. Scrimshaw. I saw them this is a... in this box over. I thought they were like cinnamon rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not have breakfast? I just saw the white. I thought he was carrying a thing of cinnamon rolls or donuts. And a shower head. Oh, that is so creepy. <laughs> Richard Nixon shower head. Oh, my word. That is... It's so bad, it's almost good. <laughs> I have never seen that. It's a great way to start your day. What? 60 bucks. I bet you it's worth 60 bucks. I wonder what other presidents they did. Oh, he, did you see the picture on the back? Look at the guy smiling. Oh, the, oh they have a scuba diver, shower heads. One year limited warranty. That is so funny. The warranty ran out. Yeah, yeah, probably. That's an Avon, Mrs. Butterworth's. Oh, look at the original Valentine cards. So, right next to the flea market and the farmer's market is also Hess Auction. This is an auction house that has gone completely online. So today is preview day. We're going to take a quick look at what is coming up for auction. Look at the size of these Hummels. That is huge, bigger than my hand. I imagine these are going to bring really high prices. So I believe the new auction comes up um, for preview on Tuesday, and then bidding, I think, is Monday. So all of this stuff will be up for a week to come look at it in person. And then you bid online, and then next Tuesday you pick it up. I see a lamp I love. <gasps> a lot of people come from out of state. There is the redware. I think that is Ned Falls up there or Eldreth. I think that's Ted or Ned. I always forget. That is beautiful. Just going to give you a little overview. Not a lot of junk at this sale, that's for sure. A lot of artist signed artwork. So when you bid on 692, you get the whole tray. I think you would have to be really careful and take pictures of what you're going to bid on so that when you receive the item, nobody switched yeah. items around. I know that's a real problem with auctions. Yeah. You bid on something and, and when you receive it, there's something missing from the tray. I've heard of that quite a bit. This quilt is gorgeous. Look at the workmanship. All those little pieces. Wow. It seems like most of the items here are in really nice condition. You don't see a lot of tchotchke or a lot of junk. I think they're very selective for what they take in. We just came out of the room of the items that sold, and it was probably more than this, all in one online auction. So I imagine a lot of people are at a state bidding also. Just a guess. What do you think, honey? <laughs> a little small. <laughs> Seems like somebody had quite the collection of pin and bead art. At this level, it's an art form. Safety pins put together to form different shapes. A lot of times it's baskets. I've seen picture frames. This is definitely somebody's collection. Oh, look at the red, white, and blue one. It almost looks like a raspberry bead. That is beautiful. I wonder what this will go for. Two different lots. This is eight ninety four and eight ninety three. In case you want to bid on them, 
This is online Hess auction. But then if you win, you have to pick it up here. It's the local pickup only, they're not shipping, as far as I know. So how many lots are there? One, two, three, four, five. I would imagine that purple tag is put on there to authenticate it. The alligators, the crocodiles, gators. Gators. Florida gators. Florida gators. <laughs> You're getting them. Oh my gosh. You have them all down. Pitiful. Oh, this is lovely. Is that a bed warmer? Put some coals in there. Look at that. Doesn't look especially old. All right, guys, so here is the find of the day. As you saw in the video, I went back and forth for so long because I'm really trying not to pick up big things, but fell in love with this piece. This whole thing is inlaid wood, just spectacular. It was originally a table, the legs have been removed, but I think I loved it even more that it's not a table. I think this would make amazing wall art. I am gonna look into being able to ship this because I think this is gonna sell better on eBay than a local, you know, Facebook marketplace or a local platform. So this was the find of the day. Now, truth be told, I did not purchase it. Roger just turned around and bought it. I think he was a little bit like, okay, does he buy it or no? <laughs> but I am trying to be careful with my purchases, but he just stepped in and he bought it for me. He knew I loved it. So thank you, sweetie. I appreciate the gift. And um, yeah, I probably will be selling the gift. I might hang on to it for a while. All right, and in this part of the video, let me put this down on the floor. Oh, it's heavy. This part of the video, I just wanted to give a big shout out, thank you. A thank you from both Roger and I for the outpouring love and support you guys are sending with cards and greetings, congratulatory notes and presents, things you guys are making, things you guys are finding out in the wild, and, um, money orders and checks. I can't believe you guys. And thank you so, so much for all of your support for our wedding. We are just thrilled. We are moving in closer and closer. I think tonight we actually apply for our marriage license. So that is very exciting. Thank you so, so much for all of your just well wishing and all of your love and support. Thank you from both Roger and I from the bottom of our hearts. You guys are amazing. Um, what else is going on? I think that's it. I don't think I'm going to do um, a portion of the video where I show you the updates for the house edition because tomorrow and I, Lisa, start painting. We are the painting contractors. There is a lot to prime and paint. So for the past couple of days, Roger and I have been filling in all of the nail holes, sanding, you know, all of the putty. Uh, one of Roger's brothers is coming in tonight to do the caulking in the addition as a wedding gift. So thank you so much to Ron. He is a professional contractor, a builder, and he has offered to do all of the caulking of all of the moldings. Thank you so much. I hate caulking. <laughs> all right, so we have 19 gallons of Sherwin-Williams primer and paint in the house. Lisa and I are all ready to go for tomorrow morning, four days of priming and painting. And I will show you what that looks like, maybe film a little bit of us painting so you can see how we work together. Lisa and I have painted quite a few houses in our day, inside and out. Uh, in fact, Lisa ran the job for the outside of this house. So if you guys remember the last fall, I painted Sherwin-Williams Alabaster, which basically is a white. So the color that Roger and I have picked for the whole interior of the addition is Sherwin-Williams Pure White. <laughs> We're very into white lately. Here's the thing. We thought it would be a good fresh palette just to start out with. And then if we decide we need a little more color, we can always repaint, which is not a big deal. I just wanted to really get the addition just all ready to go to move into. And we figured doing white on the ceilings and the moldings, uh, all the trim and the walls will be this color. So uh, yeah, so that is what's going on here. Again, a big thank you to all of you. I love you guys. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours.